Hi everyone. In many of the future numerical methods videos, we are going to be dealing with systems of linear equations. So, I figured it would be wise to cover a summary of what they are. A system of linear equations is just a collection of linear equations that are independent. So, this means that we can't derive one from another with basic math operations. This essentially means that we can't say we have two equations if both of our equations are x plus 7 equals 0 and also x equals minus 7. They are the same thing, just 7 is subtracted from both sides. Also, all of the linear equations need to be related in some way and share the same set of variables. So, now that we have a rough idea of what a system of linear equations is, we should review what a linear equation is just to be thorough. An equation is linear if each term is simply a constant or a constant multiplied by a variable. Think of this like the equation of a line. y equals m times x, which is a constant times a variable, plus b, which is simply a constant. You could also have something like a1 times x1 plus a2 times x2 plus b equals 0. Since all of these are a constant, or a constant times a variable, we know that our equation is linear. So you may ask, what would it mean to solve a system of linear equations? We will go through the methods of actually solving these systems of linear equations in future videos within this playlist. For now, just know that solving a system of linear equations essentially means to find and thus assign a value to each of your unknown variables. Because there is sometimes more than one solution to a system of linear equations, the total set of solutions that can solve our system of linear equations is called the solution set. There are three possible solutions when solving a system of linear equations. Firstly, we could have infinitely many solutions, which occurs when our linear equations are on top of one another. Secondly, the system could have a single unique solution. This is when our system of equations all cross at a single point. Lastly, the system could have no solution. And this means that there is no possible point where all of our linear equations pass through. To more easily solve problems with relatively large numbers of linear equations, we can write the linear systems of equations in matrix form. So the way I think of this is that we keep an inventory of all of our variables within matrix A. The size of matrix A will be determined by the number of linear equations you have, which will tell you how many rows you need, and the number of variables will tell you how many columns that you need. In the matrix equation, our matrix A is multiplied by x, which is a column vector representing all of our unknowns. And this equals b, which is a constant vector, which basically means that it's just filled with some constant number, so 0, 10, 100, etc. This matrix equation can also be represented in an augmented matrix, which basically means the same thing, it just visually simplifies things. As you can see here, the augmented matrix looks very similar, just the variables column is absent, and essentially replaced with a line. An important thing I want you to note is that to solve a system of linear equations, you must have at a minimum the number of unknowns equal to or less than the number of equations you have. If you have more unknowns than equations, you will not be able to solve the system of equations. Throughout this course, to more easily solve systems of linear equations, we will essentially place our linear equations inside a matrix, convert it to a special matrix, which I will talk about in the next video, and then solve using a numerical method on a computer program. Converting the system of linear equations to a matrix will make our lives significantly easier when it comes to future programming. Thank you for checking out the video. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe to support the channel. However, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about the information I provided in this video, please leave a comment down below and I will do my best to address your concerns.